Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, couldn't be better. What are you doing? Uh, just walking in the gas station to get some gas. Oh, did your car run out of gas? No, I just can't afford to drive my car to the gas station to get gas anymore. Prices are kind of high. Yeah, I have no idea what Biden's trying to do. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Biden's a great guy. This isn't his fault. Oh, I'm not trying to say he's a bad guy. I'm just saying objectively gas prices have gone through the roof since he took office. Uh, that's just a big misunderstanding. It's not Biden's fault. Whose fault is it then? I mean, Putin's fault, right? Hmm. How's that his fault? Well, when you zero in on it at a high level and the, the lack of diversity in the Russian parliament, Russia doesn't have a parliament. Oh, and the climate change, like with the Titanic fault lines causing night terrors. Oh, and the elderly community suppressing the LGBTQ community. And uh, it, we're going to wind up with total dolphin extinction in the wild populations in Colorado. And the blood's on Putin's hands. Gas prices. Okay. Um, there's a goat now. I mean, if anything, we need more Biden, like Biden 2024, right? <laughs> You're not ultra mega, are you? Uh, I just don't think Biden's my guy. I wish him well as a person, but I think his policies are clearly making people's lives worse. Now there's more goats for some reason, and that's simply not true. Well, I certainly respect your opinion. Hey, have you lost a bunch of weight recently? Yeah, like 20 pounds. Cool, I mean, you didn't have that much to lose. What kind of diet are you on? Food shortages. Oh yeah, about those. Why do you think it is in America we have food shortages all of a sudden? Well, I mean, lots of reasons. Like, I mean, food doesn't just grow on trees. It actually does. Nah, we don't really know where it comes from. Like really, all we know is somehow it mysteriously comes from food processing plants. Yeah. Um, haven't like 96 of those burnt down in this year alone? He's trying to stab me. Dude, 96 food processing plants burnt down this year? You're nuts! There's no way that happened. Oh, you're right. It's 97. Oh. And what's scarier is the Biden administration just seems to be allowing it to happen. I assure you that President Biden is staying up late into the afternoon looking into it. I mean, He's taking care of us. Don't you listen to his talking points? I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. We're all in good hands. By the way, is that gonna be enough gas to get you anywhere? Nope, but it's all I could afford. Oh man, did you lose your job? No, I wouldn't say I lost it. It's just the federal government made it illegal for me to work for a year or so. Damn, that's tough. Now it's all good because over the course of that year, the government sent me two $600 stimulus checks. And it'd be awesome to still have that money in cash because now that $1,200 would be worth like a hundred. Yeah, inflation. Putin. But instead, I did the responsible thing and invested it. I hope you didn't. I put it in the stock market. Ugh. Man, I, I think the current administration... I know, that's basically just a coincidence. Because the way I look at it, which is based on the way I've been taught to look at immunizations, is that I'm thankful for the Biden administration. Because could you imagine how much worse the stock market drop would be if we didn't have Biden? Yeah, that's one way to look at it. But um, you should be okay in the long run as long as you don't sell. I sold all my stock. He's really biting me. While it's dropped mega low? Why? So I could get a little bit of gas. I got pennies on the dollar for my investments. That's, that's terrible. No, it's great. My white guilt makes me feel like I deserve it. Is that what old white people who live in mansions and fly private jets told you you're supposed to feel? Yeah, exactly. They're the ones that would know. I mean, with all their wealth and possessions, can you imagine how much guilt they feel? <laughs> Poor guys. Right. Yeah. Um, but I'm worried about you, man. <laughs> Don't worry about me, the economy has never been better. Yes, it has. But practically, man, like, you don't have a job, you can't afford to drive a car, you're going hungry, you don't have any savings, you lost out on the stock market, and you've got a family to support. Like, do you have any cushion to fall back on? Yes, of course I do. Oh, that's great. What is it? Crypto. Oh. Yeah, but for some reason completely unknown, the crypto market has dropped dramatically also. My portfolio is worth one ten thousandth of what it used to be. Sorry. No need to apologize. I'm grateful because could you imagine how much worse the crypto crash would be if we didn't have Biden? You look really hungry. Yeah, could you imagine how much worse the food shortages would be if we didn't have Biden? I mean, objectively, it's pretty bad. Look at you, you're wearing a tattered shirt. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. I ordered a new one last year. It's scheduled to arrive in the next 18 months. 
supply chain issues. Could you imagine how much worse the supply chain issues would be if we didn't have Biden? I could imagine they'd be very different. <laughs> Exactly. That's why we need to all band together and support him during this critical time when he's losing support for some reason. Because if we don't get him reelected in 2024, things will be different. Yeah, that would be. Well, hey, I got to run home and push my car to pick my kids up from school. They're due back from their field trip to a drag show soon.